In today's lesson, we are going to learn about context clues. If you want to improve your reading comprehension, then being aware that context is what gives meaning to the author's words is the key to comprehending complex text. Context clues are hints that the author gives us to determine the meaning of unknown words or phrases. Sometimes understanding what we read can be confusing if the author uses vocabulary words that we are not familiar with. But did you know that you can usually determine the meaning of most words from the context? It's true. Most authors give us clues to help us understand what they're writing. This is why it is so important that you know the major types of context clues and how to use them. Let's take a look at context clues that you can use to improve your comprehension skills. Number one, definition or explanation. In a definition or explanation context clue, the unknown word is equated to a more familiar word or phrase. Usually, a form of the verb to be is used, as in this example. Entomology is the study of insects. In this example, the verb is links entomology to study of insects. Number two, punctuation. When you use punctuation, the meaning of the word is usually right after the unfamiliar word, and it is often separated from the rest of the sentence with commas, dashes, or parentheses. Sometimes the word or, that is, or in other words, is also used. Let's look at these three examples. Carnivores, or meat eaters, are at the top of the food chain. You'll notice that the phrase or meat eaters encased in commas is used to define the word carnivores. Let's look at the next example. She enjoyed biology, the study of living things. In this example, biology means the study of living things. How do we know? Because it is in parentheses. Let's look at another example. Australia is home to many interesting marsupials, kangaroos, koalas, Wombats and Tasmanian devils are among the most commonly known. The punctuation used here is the colon. The colon is used to give examples of marsupials. The third context clue would be contrast or antonym context clues. When an author uses contrast or antonym context clues, the unfamiliar word is shown to be different from or unlike another word and is often an opposite. The words but, however, although, otherwise, unless, instead, on the contrary, on the other hand, while, never, no, or not, may be used to signal the contrast. Let's look at this example. Mike's parrot was loquacious, but Maria's said very little. We see the use of the word but to contrast Mike's loquacious parrot to Maria's parrot who says very little. Therefore, loquacious must mean talkative. Let's look at another example. Although the English language seems difficult to learn, it is actually much easier than you think. In this example, the word although signals the contrast. The fourth context clues is comparison. When you use this context clue, remember that the unfamiliar word is shown to be the same as or like another word. Look for signal words like to, like, as, similar to, or in the same way. Let's look at this example. My brother is enthralled by birds in the same way that I am fascinated by insects. The words in the same way signal comparison. Therefore, we must understand that enthralled means nearly the same as fascinated. Let's go on to the fifth context clue, and this is example. When the author gives an example, the unfamiliar word is cleared up by using signal words such as, for instance, such as, for example. Let's look at this example. The archaeologists found different amulets, such as a rabbit's foot and bags of herbs, near the Book of Spells. We can infer that an amulet must be something related to charms and spells. 
The sixth type of context clue is the list or the series. The unfamiliar word is included in a series of related words that give an idea of the word's meaning. Here you can also go back to the punctuation context clues because you will see the commas. Let's look at the example. North American predators include grizzly bears, pumas, wolves, and foxes. The next type of context clue is cause and effect. The meaning of an unfamiliar word is signaled by a cause and effect relationship between ideas in the text. Let's look at this example. Due to a dearth of termites, the aardvarks starve to death. We can infer that aardvarks eat termites. If not, it would not have starved to death. And obviously, if there is a dearth of termites, that means there aren't a lot of termites for the aardvark to eat. The last type of context clue is a general inference or logic type of context clue. The meaning of an unfamiliar word can be inferred from the description of a situation or experience. For example, the monkey's vociferous chatter made me wish I had earplugs on. Let's look at the word vociferous. If I need earplugs, the monkey is being very loud. To summarize, context clues help you unlock the meaning of a word, sentence, or paragraph. There are eight main types of context clues. Definition or explanation, punctuation, contrast or antonym, comparison, example, list or series, cause and effect, general inference or logic. Learning how to use context clues is an effective strategy that good readers have in their reading toolbox. By using context clues, you not only improve your comprehension skills, but you can build up your vocabulary as well. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you real soon.